station number one on the Tubathon, Chesham. It's minus six. Let's go. You've got another 16 uh, and a half hours to go. That's if you break the world record. Well, I'm not on my own. Uh, with me is a guy called Jeff Marshall. Jeff, once upon a time, was the world record holder uh, for the Tube Challenge. Puncher turned gamekeeper. <laughs> Indeed. He is my Tube Yoda and is helping me round. And he's told me when he's previously done this, he hits a wall at around about four o'clock. I hear people who do the London Marathon, which is a similar achievement to this. Oh. Uh, I hear that they hit a wall as well. So four o'clock this afternoon is, is my... I, it is the zone that I'm not looking forward to, but with the positivity, I'm sure that today I can do it, I can break it. Just made Watford, this is the first train so far this morning, it's actually been cold, I don't think the heat is working for this one. But we're eight stations in, and um, I don't think it could have been any quicker so far, this is good. Okay, I can't see him. There he is, there he is. I can see him. Okay, I see him, I see him. Okay, oh, he's got long hair. Right, okay. Okay, thank you and goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. Right, good boy. Right. Thank you. 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 I have the chunky Kit Kats, but I've missed the Piccadilly Line train. Oh, Dan, no. you idiots! <laughs> Dan, you got in the way! I am on a bus. Uh, number 79. Uh, we're on a run between uh, Edgware and Cannons Park Station, the Jubilee Line. And the bus has just passed, and we're resting our legs. I'm actually excited because we're heading to Baker Street and Christian's going to meet us there with McDonald's. So um, it was a, a pick me up at the perfect time. So rather than some sort of healthy fruit option or, or you know energy drink, you're just going for greasy chicken. Today's all about carbs. <laughs> just bought Richie lunch and it's just belched in my face. Listen, I had to eat it very, very quickly. We are getting off the next stop on more game. This is where we say goodbye. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're proud of him, aren't we? Proud of him. You're doing really well. Thank you. Good luck. And it's only ten more hours to go. Just ten more hours. Thank you. Good luck. It could be a bit early to say this, but I would do this again. Yeah, someone's just contacted us saying they're going to give us a, um, a Bailey's coffee. The train goes in three minutes. Um, <laughs> it would be crushing if that didn't happen, because we've got excited now. I know, we've made it to Epping and um, we've made it through the daylight. It's starting to get dark again. Getting dark means cold, so it's starting to get cold again. Uh, which means the Tesco's fleece could be coming back out again, the bubble pack could be going back on, the gloves could be going back on. But, 142 out of 270, we're over halfway, we're heading downhill. This is still on, but it's cold, it's getting dark. There's a red light, there's no driver. Come on! Victoria, just left my home tube stop. Uh, we're heading to Victoria where we're going to get off and get on the district line. Hopefully, waiting on the district line platform is Doyle with uh, two bacon double cheeseburgers. If she's not there, despite the fact she's a good friend, it will be one of the worst sights. If the burgers aren't there, it will just be horrendous. <laughs> Like a train. Get on that train. Wait, shout for Maggie. Maggie! Maggie! We need the train. Maggie! This is our main doors. The train is now ready to depart. You may not be able to board. Standing clear of the closing doors, please. Standing clear of the closing doors. <laughs> We've just got to um, Upminster. Sorry, I'm barely talking. We've just got to Upminster, and look, we've been brought KFC, and we can now we can now sit and enjoy KFC on this train all the way back to West Ham, and then get back on the tubes. 
This is good time. I wanted to be in the video. <laughs> this is a low. <laughs> Why are you feeling low? It's ten to nine. There's no train. There hasn't been one for about five minutes. Yeah. We've only got 35 stations to go. Yeah. Tired. Tired. Um, <laughs> just... what was we, it was almost after we ate the food, we felt tired, wasn't it? Yeah. It's already down. Gunnersbury, and we've only got a few to go. Down to Richmond, back up, Acton Town, and down to Heathrow. But unfortunately, when we get there, it'll only be 269 out of 270 because TfL cancelled all the Olympia trains at the end of the evening when there was still more to run and on their website. So, um, not going to complete. Not my fault. Boris, pay up, please. It's your fault. TfL. Not happy. Not happy. Last train to Heathrow. We may make it by midnight. past midnight, 269 out of the 270 stations. I am shattered, but I've done all I can. Jeff, we've done it. Thank well, you very much, well, Chief well, Guru. I'm going to give you a little hug. <laughs> What's the time? What's the time? What time did we do that? Right, uh, we came in at 5.07. I believe that's just over 80, about 18 hours and 6 minutes. I'll get out the door and I'll do some exact calculations, but just over the 18 hour mark. Which, considering that we got mucked around by the Olympia situation, we wasted some time there. We could have come in there around 17 and a half hours. So, uh, but that really did, uh, I say, screw us over. That screwed us over. <laughs> but job done.